In our second lesson this morning at morning prayer, St. Luke's got an agenda that gives us hope. Listen to the parallels between Luke's account of Mary visiting Elizabeth and the account of the Ark of the Covenant from 2 Samuel. And David arose and went from Baal Judah to bring up from there the Ark of God. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And David was afraid of the Lord that day, and he said, How can the ark of the Lord come to me? Elizabeth said, And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? And the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months. And Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months. As the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michael saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. Luke is ingeniously telling us that the one who dwelt in the ark, whom heaven cannot hold nor earth sustain, is the very one who came to dwell in the womb of Mary. The ark of the new covenant contains not the word on stone, but the word made flesh, not a jar of manna, but the true bread with which came down from heaven. Why does this give us hope? Because the one that dwelt in Mary now dwells in us. His very presence and favor go with us during our earthly pilgrimage until we arrive at the Jerusalem which is above. Christ in us, the hope of glory.